Shifting gears now, the sheer volume of plastic waste in the world's seas and oceans has really become a hot potato globally. However, South Korea is looking to do its part, at least in this part of the world, with the government laying out comprehensive measures to halve the amount of waste plastic in South Korean waters by the year 2030, so over the next 12 years, or 11 years rather. Kim Hyo-sun reports. Plastic is estimated to account for 80 percent of global marine litter. In waters off South Korea, there is estimated to be nearly 120,000 tons of plastic, half of it discarded fishing gear and buoys. As well as harming sea life and contaminating the water, fine plastic only one to five micrometers in size is a potential risk factor for human beings. The toxins contained in such microplastic are known to be detrimental to human health and may even cause cancer or infertility. Fine plastic has been found inside marine life and products caught in South Korean waters. While a large amount of plastic was recently found inside a dead turtle, the public is worried. To tackle the issue, the South Korean government is aiming to reduce marine plastic in South Korean waters by 30 and 50 percent by 2022 and 2030, respectively. Starting in 2021, the government will initiate a deposit system for fishing gear and buoys and set up collection zones at major ports. It also plans to substitute styrofoam buoys with eco-friendly materials while making efforts to make sure river waste doesn't flow into the sea. Kim Hyo-sun, Arirang News.